Among patients with an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD, approximately one-third will have episodes of ventricular tachycardia and receive an ICD shock within three years after implantation. Use of antiarrhythmic drugs or catheter ablation to suppress recurrent ventricular tachycardia is often warranted. But the first line of therapy has been antiarrhythmic drugs. A new trial compared catheter ablation with antiarrhythmic drug therapy as a first-line treatment strategy in these patients. In this international randomized open-label trial, 416 patients with a previous myocardial infarction and clinically significant ventricular tachycardia, all of whom had an ICD, were assigned to undergo catheter ablation within 14 days after randomization or to receive antiarrhythmic drug therapy with sotalol or amiodarone. The primary endpoint was a composite of death from any cause during follow-up or, more than 14 days after randomization, appropriate ICD shock, ventricular tachycardia storm, or treated sustained ventricular tachycardia below the detection limit of the ICD. During a median follow-up of 4.3 years, the incidence of a primary composite endpoint event was significantly lower with catheter ablation than with antiarrhythmic drug therapy at approximately 51% as compared with 61%. With respect to safety, in the catheter ablation group, adverse events within 30 days after the procedure included death in two patients and non-fatal adverse events in 23. In the drug therapy group, adverse events attributed to antiarrhythmic drug treatment included death from pulmonary toxic effects in one patient and non-fatal adverse events in 46. The authors conclude that in patients with clinically significant ventricular tachycardia who had ischemic cardiomyopathy and an ICD, first-line treatment with catheter ablation was more effective than antiarrhythmic drug therapy in reducing the risk of a composite of death from any cause during follow-up or, more than 14 days after randomization, appropriate ICD shock, ventricular tachycardia storm, or treated sustained ventricular tachycardia below the detection limit of the ICD. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.